NFL star Aaron Hernandez was arrested and charged with the murder of Odin Lloyd. Lloyd's body was found near Hernandez's North Attleboro home nine days before the arrest. According to the authorities, Lloyd was dating Hernandez's fiancé sister. Hernandez was initially charged with one count of first-degree murder. However, later that same month, he was indicted on two more charges of first-degree murder for the 2012 deaths of Daniel De Abreu and Zafiro Furtado, who were killed in a drive-by shooting in Boston, Massachusetts. He was also facing a civil lawsuit in the 2013 shooting of Alexander Bradley, which occurred in Palm Beach County, Florida. Hernandez was found guilty of first-degree murder in the death of Lloyd on April 15, 2015, and was subsequently sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. However, he was ultimately acquitted in the murders of De Abreu and Furtado. A little over two months after the acquittal, Hernandez was found unresponsive in a cell at Sousa Baranowski Correctional Center in Shirley, Massachusetts. On September 21, 2017, authorities determined the former football star died by suicide around 4 a.m. Prior to his first trial, Hernandez was incarcerated at the Bristol County, Massachusetts House of Corrections for more than 18 months. As reported by ABC News, Bristol County Sheriff Thomas Hodgson said Hernandez used his charm to manipulate the guards to, quote, give him more than what they otherwise could get. Sheriff Hodgson said Aaron Hernandez specifically tried to get the guards to give him more sandwiches and other foods. However, they were all instructed to avoid giving the former football player any special treatment. During his time at Bristol County, Hernandez was prohibited from watching television, listening to the radio, or reading newspapers. My, my philosophy is if you come to prison, uh, we're not going to use taxpayers' money to have you distract yourself away from the things you should be focusing on. ABC News reports this was particularly distressing for Hernandez, as he was unable to follow his former NFL team, which made it to the Super Bowl in 2015. Jail records suggest Hernandez also struggled with adjusting to the rules, interacting with his fellow inmates, and feelings of isolation. Yahoo Sports reports Hernandez was involved in 12 separate incidents, for which he received a total of 21 disciplinary citations while he was housed at the Bristol County Jail. There were two inmates involved in an altercation. Uh, one of them was uh, Aaron Hernandez. Following his conviction of the death of Odin Lloyd, Hernandez was transferred to the Sousa Baranowski Correctional Center, where he was assigned to a single inmate cell. It has been suggested that Hernandez became affiliated with the Blood Street Gang shortly after he arrived at the Sousa Baranowski Correctional Center. ABC News reports he got a new tattoo, which prison officials identified as referencing the gang. Hernandez was also involved in a physical altercation with another inmate, which authorities believe was gang-related. Hernandez accumulated 78 disciplinary offenses during his time at the Sousa Baranowski Correctional Center, which stemmed from 12 separate incidents. The incidents Aaron Hernandez was involved in included fighting, possession of a makeshift weapon, smoking, and getting unauthorized tattoos. Hernandez also received a citation for using another inmate's car to make a phone call, which is prohibited. As reported by CNN, he was also cited for having a curtain hanging from the top bunk and another blocking the doorway to his cell, which violated the cell decorum rules. Despite the sheer number of disciplinary citations he received, Yahoo Sports reports Hernandez's fellow inmates said he generally kept to himself. However, he continued to struggle with adjusting to life in prison. According to incident reports and other prison documents, Hernandez was frustrated that his mail was opened and read before he received it. He was also discouraged by the number of body cavity and cell searches, which he felt were an invasion of his privacy. During his time at the Sousa Baranowski Correctional Center, Officials said Hernandez became increasingly frustrated and angry. As reported by Yahoo Sports, he would routinely shout and kick his cell door to get the guards' attention. Less than one year after his initial citation for violating the cell decorum rules, guards found a sheet hanging in front of Hernandez's cell door once again. When he failed to respond to their commands to remove the sheet, the guards went inside the cell and found Hernandez unresponsive. Aaron Hernandez was declared dead by suicide in the early morning hours of April 19, 2017. If you or anyone you know is having suicidal thoughts, please call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-TALK-8255.